generally speaking, women seek out hormone replacement therapy after sure. menopause to manage side effects of menopause and sure. growing older, right? And, um, and it's the combination of estrogen with a progestin that was associated with an elevated risk of breast cancer, not just while they're taking it for those five to seven years yeah, or so, but then for another 20 years after that, yeah. elevated risk persists, is yeah. that right? That's right, so it looks like it might even be a lifetime risk, and it looks like what happens is the uh, progestin causes an increase in breast cancer stem cells, and that's waiting for the next signal to get the breast ready to make milk, but this next signal doesn't come, and so the women are stuck with these ex excess stem cells and one mutation away from instant breast cancer. Wow, well, so basically the combination of estrogen and progestin puts the breast in the mood, yep. or it just makes them more um, likely to misbehave um, and form a breast cancer, not just for those years that they're taking that hormone replacement therapy combined, but for the 20 years after. But then the other study, yep. which looks at women who are just taking estrogen, and just to uh, qualify that, these are women who don't have a uterus in place. Because right, that's, of, yes, and that's 25% of postmenopausal women. Right, right, and the reason why that's important is because um, estrogen alone, it can cause problems with the, with the lining of the uterus, increase your risk for endometrial cancer, right. which is why that progestin is added in. Right. But for women who don't have a uterus, they, don't, they can just take estrogen alone. Right. And for those women who are on it for five to seven years and follow for another 20, <laughs> is that right? That, right, That's yes. the length of follow-up. As you were saying, they have a lower incidence of breast cancer, not just while they're taking it, yeah. but for the 20 years after. Is that? Yeah, and then, and it was a 44% reduction in risk of death from breast cancer. Now it's a little question because mo most of our women started uh, therapy longer, farther from menopause than it would be used clinical, you know, usually clinically to treat menopausal symptoms. Right. But it, but it still suggests that estrogen will be safer than we really thought before okay. for breast cancer risk. Yeah.